We laid out what we wanted to present. I think we did it in a way that the, the judge and, and the 11th Circuit, if we uh, have to appeal his order, uh, can understand from the record. Do you firmly believe that it was calculated misconduct on behalf of Laura Canary? Do you believe that? Well, you know, what, I, what we know is true is that during the time that Laura Canary was investigating me and during the time of news leaks about a grand jury investigation and Sigelman documents being subpoenaed, we know that her husband was being paid by one of my opponents, handsomely paid. So we know there's no question that there was a conflict, a gross conflict. But what we don't know is, uh, you know, and, and we won't know until we see the rest of the documents, is the extent of uh, her involvement in my case after she, you know, supposedly recused. There is all kinds of evidence, uh, both documentary in the form of emails and and things that are suggested in those emails that indicate blatant government misconduct. And we, we feel that, that we have presented enough evidence, some evidence is all we are required to present, that would give the judge a basis for saying, okay, government, you say this is true, but you haven't produced any of these documents. So I am ordering you to produce those documents and then we will see whether the defendants received a, a fair trial or not and whether you're telling the truth or not. And I think that we have met our burden of proof and I hope that the judge agrees with us and orders that uh, further discovery is warranted. What, what we have had is a press release from Laura Canary, but what is required by law is that she go to her superior and her superior produce a document that is made a part of the public record. That has never been done or it has never been produced since we challenged her back in 2001. If they can put me in prison for nine months for appointing Richard Scrucci, being the fourth governor to reappoint Richard Scrucci, they ought to be able to execute Rick Perry for what he did in Texas. I mean, so, you know, the, you know, there's a standard of justice that should apply across the board, and I think the United States Supreme Court will see that and will apply the rule of law in this case. Do you feel like you got a, a more fair shake now with the change of administrations, considering the blatant politicization of justice by the Bush administration for eight years? When we go by the Southern Poverty Law Center and read about justice rolling down like a, you know, water from a mighty stream, the problem is that there are, there, are some, there are problems that exist within the justice system that continue rolling down. There's some systemic problems that need to be addressed to, to try to fix these things. And unfortunately, uh, you know, we haven't seen the, the focus on reforming the justice system either in the Bush administration or in the Obama administration. Is there anything else that you can tell us about uh, how you feel about the pro where you stand in the process? I mean, do you feel any better about the situation we're in now? Well, yeah, because we're winding, it's winding down, and, and we know that the Supreme Court has got to resolve this issue. They cannot let my ruling stand as is because it subjects, you know, as I said, every, you know, every other governor, Rick Perry, would be in prison today, you know, if this were the standard, but it's not the standard, and it, it, it has never been the standard. They changed the standard in my case because before I was convicted, there had to be explicit evidence or evidence of an explicit agreement. Well, there was no evidence of any explicit agreement. And so, you know, if they're going to change the standard, you know, the law requires that you give people notice, say, we're going to change the standard, everybody beware. You know, if you, if you get a contribution and appoint somebody, you can be investigated and prosecuted. Archer Leach did say in any court in the United States, if this happened, that's jury tampering. It's an automatic mistrial. I mean, that, that seems to me like the stuff that they keep trying to deny, it seems to me to be, a, and, and the words I wrote in all caps in my notes was cover-up. The stuff that they're not providing, right. they're not addressing the linkage to the issues that he was talking about. I mean, to me, that is a cover-up. Well, you can characterize it 
however you want, because the government knows that in the end, even for intentional misconduct, they can't be sued. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, they can't. I can't file a civil suit to claim, you know, lost wages and my destruction of my career or what or anything right, else. Right. So they can, they can, they can play hide and seek with documents, or they can cover up their misconduct. They can fail to produce documents. Or, you destroy documents like it's yeah. been in the past. And the, you know, and and they can't be sued. So. Um, are we getting any closer to an answer? Yes, because we're at the tail end of the process, and again, the Supreme Court has got to address this issue because this is not the law. The, this, what, how I was convicted is is not the law in the United States, and if they allow this 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 conviction to stand, then everybody else, Rick Perry and all the other governors and Bush and Obama, are all subject, and their contributors are all subject to being prosecuted. There is already a deterrent, a chilling effect on the political process because people are, are more and more aware of the prosecutions based on contributions. They haven't looked at it clearly enough to be as frightened as they should be by the ruling in my case. But if they if they look at it clearly, you know, people either would stop contributing, um, or or you know, politicians would have to vote against you know, the people who gave them the money. So it, 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 it turns our political system on its head and makes no sense. So that's why I feel comfortable that, that soon, and sooner rather than later, this, this will be straightened out.